this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on joint venture accounts wherein joint venture means a partnership for a short duration in which partner instead of maintaining independent books of accounts for joint venture he records all the transactions of joint venture along with his personal business transactions. So no separate books of accounts are maintained. Partner records all the transactions of joint venture business. I want to solve one sum wherein I am going to consider this aspect. Just attend. Look at the sum which I intend to solve. This is the sum which I wish to solve. On two few on 2nd May 2016, Suri of Dhanbad and Bashir of Delhi entered into a joint venture to buy and sell dolls. They agreed to share the profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2. On 7 June 16, Bashir purchased 600 dolls at Rs. 52 each and sent 250 dolls to Suri. He paid freight and insurance 3,700. 3, in transit, 25 dolls were damaged and the insurance company paid Rs. 250. On 15th of July, Suri made the remittance of 7050 to Bashir. On 26th July, Suri purchased 300 dolls at Rs. 55 each and sent 100 dolls to Bashir incurring 1500 as freight and insurance. On 14th of August, 18 damaged dolls were taken by Suri for personal purposes at an agreed price of 25 each and distributed the remaining damaged dolls free of cost amongst the customers. On 11th of November, both Suri and Bashir disposed of all the dolls in possession at Rs. 60. We are, we are required to find out the number of dolls in possession of each partner by preparing a working note. On 30th November, the venture was closed and the accounts were settled by bank draft. You are required to prepare joint venture account and personal accounts of Bashir in respective books. Now, I am going to prepare, first of all, on the basis of this transaction, I am going to prepare books of Suri. These are the details of the sum which I have read before you. In the books of Suri, two accounts will be prepared. One joint venture account is prepared and second is Bashir account is prepared. Both of them have agreed to share the profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2. So I write the profit sharing ratio of 3 to 2 at the top. Now first transaction. Bashir purchased 600 dolls at 52 each and sent 250 dolls to Suri. Now see. Dolls are purchased. It is a purchases for joint venture business. Purchases and expenses of joint venture business are to be debited to joint venture account. Sales revenue and incomes of joint venture business are to be credited to joint venture account. Joint venture account is to be prepared by a matching concept. Its purpose is to find out the profit of joint venture transaction. Here, $600 are purchased at 52. Who purchased? Bashir purchased. Bashir is the giver. Bashir has paid the price of these dolls. Bashir is the giver, credit the giver. So Bashir account is to be credited and purchase will be debited to joint venture account. So 3,200, 31,200 joint venture account debit to Bashir account credit. Now this 50 at the rate of rupees 50 to 600 dolls are purchased. Understand very important thing. Who is the owner of this 600 dolls? As Bashir has paid, Bashir is the only person who is the owner of these dolls? No. The ownership of, of this doll based or is under the control of both the partners, Suri and Bashir. So these 600 dolls are purchased. Who is the owner? Suri and Bashir both are the owners and 250 dolls are sent to Suri. So dolls are purchased by Bashir and sent to Suri. 240 dolls are sent to Suri. 
Who is the owner of this $600? Both of them are owner of $600. Now if the dolls are given by one partner to another or another partner to the first partner, the ownership over the dolls do not change. And when the ownership do not change, remain same, then it is just a transfer of possession, not, a, not the ownership. So dolls are given by Bashir to Suri or Suri to Bashir. There is no change in ownership. It is just transfer of possession for which no entry could be recorded. No accounting entry could be recorded. That's an important point to be understood. So here Bashir has purchased 600 dolls that I have already recorded because it the ownership is acquired from the rest of the world from the outside. So when the ownership is acquired by both the partners, it is to be recorded. But after acquiring the ownership, if some of the dolls are transferred by Bashir to Suri or Suri to Bashir, it is an internal transfer just like transferring 100 rupees dot from the pocket of a pen to a pocket of a shirt. There is no change in ownership. There is no change in ownership. No transaction could be recorded that pen is a giver and shirt is a receiver. No, not like that. Similarly, when the goods are transferred by one partner to the another and when the goods are under the common ownership, it is just mutual. It is just mutual transfer of possession, not of ownership. So no entry could be recorded. So here 240 dollars are given. No entry could be recorded. He paid freight 3,700. This is an expense paid by Bashir. Expense of joint venture. Joint venture account debit to Bashir. Now in transit 25 dolls damaged. Now dolls are damaged. What happens? Loss occurs and goods go out. When loss occurs, joint venture account is to be debited. When goods go out of the ownership of joint venture business, joint venture account is to be credited. So when such loss occurs, it is better we should not write any entry. Or even if you want to write the entry, losses are debited to joint venture and goods go out are credited to joint venture. So joint venture account debit and joint venture account credit. No need to write, to end, no need to write entry in such situation. So loss of 25 damaged dolls, no entry. But we received from insurance company 250 rupees only. Who received 250 rupees? Bashir received. Bashir is a receiver. Debit the receiver. Bashir account debit. This is a recovery of loss. The insurance company has compensated us for the loss sustained to the extent of insurance. So it is to be credited to joint venture account. So joint venture account is to be credited with the insurance claim and that is received by Bashir. Bashir is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Bashir account debit to joint venture account credit. Suri made a remittance of 7050 to Bashir. Now I am sorry, I have given funds to Bashir. Bashir is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Bashir account debit to cash account. Bashir account debit to cash account. Next transaction, Suri purchased 300 dollars as 55. Now I am sorry, I purchased dolls. So I made payment. When I make payment, cash or bank account is to be credited. And it is a purchase for joint venture business. So joint venture account is to be debited. So joint venture account debit to cash account purchase of dolls. And send 100 dolls to Basir. I have purchased 300 dolls. Not in my personal ownership. In the name of joint venture it is being purchased. So it's a common ownership. And out of 300 dolls, number of dolls transferred to Basir is just a transfer of possession. No transfer of ownership takes place, so no entry could be recorded. So here 100 dollars sent to Bashir, no entries to be recorded, expenses incurred will be recorded. So joint venture account debit to cash account, expenses incurred. This is how purchases and expenses are recorded, but transfer of dolls from Suri to Bashir, no need to record because there is no change in ownership. Now Damaged dolls are taken by Suri. I am sorry, I got the dolls. Its goods go out of joint venture business. Joint venture account is to be credited. So I, in my personal capacity, I have purchased. So purchase account debit to joint venture account credit. 
18 dollars are taken at a price of consensual price of 25 so joint venture account is to be credited it's my personal purchases personal purchases so in my books of account purchase account gets debited and distributed remaining damage dollars free of cost to customer now dollars distributed to customer Anything which you distribute to customer is treated as an advertisement expenses or a goodwill building expenses. So it is to be debited and dolls go out of the business so joint venture account is to be credited. So when any free distribution of goods to the customer has one effect just like advertisement expense joint venture account debit and goods go out joint venture account credit. So if you even if, even if you write try to write down the entry for that joint venture account debit to joint venture account credit, no need to write entry in such situation. So no entry is recorded for dollars distributed at no cost. No entry is passed. Now both Suri and Bashir disposed of all the dolls in their possession. Now how many dolls were in possession of Suri? How many dolls were in possession of Bashir? They are sold at a price of 60. So let us prepare a working note for number of dolls held by each at the time of disposal. So Suri purchased 300 dolls. He has given 100 dolls to Bashir. So Suri has got 200 dolls out of purchases made by him. Now Bashir has 240, send 240 dolls, but how many dolls were lost in transit 25? So he got only 215 dolls. Those sent were 250, 25 damaged in transit. So 215 dolls are received, 200 plus 215, 415 dolls are with Suri. Suri has sold all these 450 dolls at to 60. I am Suri, books of accounts of Suri. So I have sold, I got the cash, cash or bank account debit. Sales revenue, joint venture account is to be carried. So cash account debit to joint venture account credit, 24,900, 415 dollars are sold at a price of 60 each. Now I want to find out how many dolls are possessed by Bashir. So Bashir has purchased 600 dolls. Now number of dolls sent by Bashir 240. So 360 dolls are with Bashir which are purchased by him. He got 100 dolls from Suri. So total number of dolls with him is 460. So 460 dolls are sold by Bashir at rupees 60 each. So Bashir is the receiver, debit the receiver, Bashir account debit to joint venture account credit. This is how sales proceeds are recorded to the credit side of joint venture account. Now after recording all these transactions, I am required to find out the profit or loss. So total of credit minus total of debit, you will get the profit. This profit will be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2, 3 fifth of 300 and 2 fifth of 1, 2 fifth of 300, 120, 80 will be transferred to my profit and loss account and 120 will be given to Bashir. So Bashir account is credited with 120. This is how joint venture account is prepared, profit is found out and distributed. Now try to close Bashir account. So total of credit side minus total of debit side, this is the payment to be made to Bashir. 120 is the balancing figure, Bashir is the receiver, debit Bashir, Bashir account debit to bank account credit. This is how the books of accounts for joint venture transactions are recorded in the books of Suri. Now I want to record all these transactions in the books of Bashir. All these transactions will be going will be going to be recorded, are going to be recorded in the books of Bashir. Here I prepare joint venture account and Suri account. First transaction, Bashir purchase means I purchased. When I purchase, I pay cash. Joint venture account debit to cash account. 240 dollars given to Suri, no entry. As I explained to you, expenses paid 3700, joint venture account debit to cash account. 25 dollars lost in transit, no entry as I explained to you. But the insurance claim received will be recorded to the credit side of joint venture account. Cash account debit to joint venture account credit. 
रेमिटेंस ऑन सूरी मेड अ रेमिटेंस ऑफ सेवन जीरो फाइव जीरो टू बशीरा एम बशीरा आई गॉट द मनी फ्रॉम सूरी कैश इज रिसीव कैश और बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू सूरी अकाउंट क्रेडिट सूरी हेज परचेस थ्री हंड्रेड डॉल्स एट फिफ्टी फाइव दिस इज अ परचेस इज परचेस फॉर ज्वाइंट वेंचर बिजनेस विल बी डेबिटेड टू ज्वाइंट वेंचर अकाउंट ज्वाइंट वेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट सूरी इज द गिवर क्रेडिट द गिवर सूरी अकाउंट इज टू बी क्रेडिटेड हंड्रेड डॉल्स आर ट्रांसफर बाय वन पार्टनर टू अनदर पार्टनर नो एंट्री बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोजेशन एक्सपेंसिस पेड आर रेकॉर्डेड ज्वाइंट वेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट टू सूरी सूरी इज द गिवर क्रेडिट द गिवर Now eighteen damaged dolls are taken at the price of twenty five by Suri. Suri is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Suri account debit. It's a revenue of joint venture. Joint venture account is to be credited for that. Distributed dolls at no cost. No entry is explained to you. The goods are distributed to the customers free of charge. It's an expense debited to joint venture account. Goods go out. Credited to joint venture account, no need to record, so no entry to be passed. Now number of dolls in possession are sold by each partner at a price of sixty. Suri has purchased three hundred dolls. He has transferred hundred, two hundred dolls. He holds out of his purchases. Two forty dolls were sent, but lost in transit. So he got actually two hundred and fifteen dolls. So two hundred plus two hundred and fifteen dollars received from the part of four hundred and fifteen dollars. So Suri has sold four hundred and fifteen dollars at rupees sixty. Suri is the receiver, debit the receiver, and it is a revenue. Joint venture account is to be credited. So Suri account debit to joint venture account credit. Now let us find out the number of dollars held by Bashir. Bashir has purchased six hundred dollars. Two forty are sent to Suri, so number of dolls with him is three sixty. He got hundred dolls, so four sixty dolls. Four sixty dolls are sold by Bashir at a price of sixty. I am Bashir. I got the cash, cash or bank account debit to joint venture account credit. This is how sales proceeds are credited to joint venture account. Now, after recording all this transaction, let us find out the profit. So total of credit side minus total of debit side. This is the profit. That will be distributed in the ratio of three to two, so three fifth of three hundred, two fifth of three hundred. My profit is transferred to profit and loss account, and share of Suri is transferred to the credit side of Suri's account. Now balance Suri's account. You will find the remittance to be made total of debit minus total of credit. The amount that I am going to receive one twenty from Suri cash or bank account debit one twenty to Suri account credit one twenty. This is how the transactions are recorded in the books of Bashir. This is an important sum. I have tried to explain you this sum by preparing working notes as well as explaining you the journal entries. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to.